Welcome to IDB everyone. With the new launch of the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, that means a lot of people are looking for new cases for their shiny new phones. Especially with the 8, which has that new glass back that could make it even more susceptible to damage. We've gone ahead and compiled some of the best cases, a whole variety from more feminine ones to more masculine ones, leather, plastic, really tough ones, and almost everything in between. We have several of them in here. This is by far a not exhaustive list. There's so many more that you could find, but we have some really unique ones to check out from a bunch of really cool manufacturers. We're going to start off with Spigen and go to some of my favorites toward the end. Spigen is one of the biggest manufacturers of cases and they have a huge range of options. One of my favorites that I get to try out is one of these hybrid cases that includes their little kickstand on the back. They sell this kickstand as a standalone product. You can just attach this to the back of any phone or case that you'd like and really easy to prop up your phone. It's a really good idea and I love how they integrated it into this really slim and protective case. This is the Ultra Hybrid S. And I assume that S stands for stand, um, but it does offer a lot of drop protection as well and it's somewhat flexible of a case around the edges. So it does have some good drop protection when you happen to drop your phone. Speaking also creates some really nice screen protectors if that's something that you're looking for. Of all the cases we went through, here's just a few of them that we got to try out. So including that hybrid S case that had that, the Neo hybrid, there are some that are more tough, some are that are a little bit more flexible, some that have those unique features like that kickstand built in. Some that have this cool herringbone look to them uh, between the metal and the plastic and the rubber, really nice texture combination. They also have a lot of these clear options, which is really nice because it helps you keep that minimal look on your phone while offering a lot of protection. There are some other cases that are extremely thin, we're going to look at a couple, but they don't offer any protection, so this is a nice compromise between those. Their toughest case, the Tough Armor 2, is also really nice, and it builds a kickstand completely flush into your phone, so it doesn't stick out like the ones on the hybrid cases do. A few of my favorites are these ones here that has that nice texture to it, so it is a little bit flexible, but solid around the edges. We have the ones that have those kickstands built in, which I still think is a really nice idea. You don't have to worry about attaching it to a case with a sticker or something. Like that herringbone design on this guy here. They have a few flexible cases that are completely flexible, and I'm not really sure how I feel about though. They call them like the liquid series of cases, and they're nice, but they're completely flexible. I feel like they would probably offer you a little bit less drop protection, and that stickiness, that tackiness of that rubber can kind of stick to your pocket. So that's definitely not my favorite, but there's some really cool options in here. And even those clear ones, so they go from the masculine side to the feminine side, they have really unique ones building in those kickstands, which is something that pretty much everyone can utilize on their phones. They also are some of the most affordable cases. Some of them can go down as low as 15, all the way up to around 35 for the most expensive, that Tough Armor 2. And again, they all offer drop protection in a wide variety of different colors, but it'll definitely a little bit more on the manly side. Extraria offers some really cool cases as well. Again, they have two different kind of series that we got to look at and some screen protectors. Again, screen protectors are always nice. This one makes sure there's a nice clear cutout for that home button down there. It doesn't try to go all the way around it, so you have a nice area below it to rest your thumb. So of their cases, they're all their defense cases. So they're all really strong, but there's ones called the Shield and one called Lux. So of those, there are different patterns as all of them. There's a few, here are a few more, some are for the 8, some are for the 8 Plus. And of course, don't forget that all the iPhone 8 cases work on the 7 and the 6S and the 6, pretty much all the way back because the cutouts are all a lot larger. So here is one of my favorite. It has really nice tactility on the buttons and you can see how the top and the bottom have those big bumpers on them. Which would be perfect for if you ever did drop your phone. That's going to help you protect your phone the most. That's why these are called the defense cases. Some are a little maybe more protective called the shield, but I really like these Lux cases. They're pretty much as sturdy and they look really cool. So there's lots of drop protection here and they come in more masculine and feminine colors depending on what you're looking for in a variety of sizes for the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus as well as the legacy phones. One small thing is a little bit hard to get your lightning connector in on some of the cases, but that just depends on which lightning connector or dock you're going to be using. Now we have Casemate. Casemate is defiantly on the feminine side of things with a lot of glitz and glamour and even these really cool unique cases that I had never seen before. One of their big things that they've been pushing is these new pockets. Pockets have been really popular for a while now, but they're usually coming in little silicone ones that you just affix to the back of your phone. Casemate took it a step further and just glammed them out. 
with different types of sequins and leather and suede, all sorts of different materials. And they can all hold two different cards. So you can have like an ID and a credit card, which is generally what I like to keep on my phone. I go ahead and open one up for us. You can pretty much see what it is. This is a suede version, a black suede version. There's some 3M adhesive on the top or on the back, and there are two different card slots. So this will sit flush against the back of your phone, and you could even go with a different case and still put this on the back. But either way, it'll just sit right there on the back of your phone, keeping those cards handy. This is absolutely great when you're going out for the night and you don't want to worry about taking a wallet or a purse. Definitely something to look to. It's like a high, higher end version of those little freebies that you get from giveaways and trade shows. The other unique case from Casemate is a luminescent case. This one is just filled with literal crystals and it lights up. It looks really cool on your phone, but unfortunately this was for the 8 or the 7, so it wasn't big enough to fit on my 8 Plus. But you can see what it kind of looks like. It'll look a lot cooler on the phone when there's not so much light leakage, but definitely something to check out. Then we have Rhino Shield. Rhino Shield makes a new series of cases called Mod, and it allows you to have superior drop protection, they say 11 feet of impact, but it also has like an interchangeability to it. So for instance, you have several different parts. You have like this outer frame, this front frame, or I guess it's the back frame, uh, or a back plate. So you could use both the bumper and that piece, or you can completely swap it out and use the back plate instead. So you have a lot of different options because there's tons of different colors in back plates, designs in back plates, so different colors of bumpers, and you can even have add-ons of lenses. We have a super wide angle and a fisheye lens. Even the actual buttons come in different colors. So I could have a white bumper around the outside with these dark blue buttons and maybe a clear back. We had a few other colors of backs and sides to check out, including that clear back as well as the dark blue. So there's just tons of different color options in mixing and matching all these with more or less protection. And I love the additional features of being able to add on lenses. I love lenses. We've checked out the Moment lenses many times in the past, and they work well. They're really solid lenses, and I love how easily they attach onto this case. And you don't even have to have them on there if you don't want to. You can just check out the really cool cases that offer you a lot of drop protection with some customization. MNML, or minimal, I assume, are another series of super, super thin I almost don't even want to call them cases. I almost want to just call them skins for your phone, but they're exceptionally simple and skinny cases to put on your iPhone. They come in a variety of different shades. This is the black version here. It goes over my black phone quite well, but it just barely fits over there like a glove and offers you great protection for stuff like in your pocket, but it's probably not going to offer you a lot of protection if you happen to drop your phone. As you can see, the case itself is extremely skinny. I've tested these for a while and it works really well and gives you that minimalist, minimalistic protection uh, with some good looks. Silk also has some really nice designs and really good grip on their phone cases. I was really surprised by that. That's one of the things I feel like we don't see a lot of. Inside of the package, a lot of them come with little screen protectors, which is a nice bonus whenever you pick up one of their cases. We tried out this grip one here and I like the blue, first off. Um, matches my high school colors, but it also just has really good tactile feedback to it. It's not like a silicone case where it feels like it's going to collect dust and stick to your pockets all the time. It just feels like it's not going to fall out of your hand, which, especially with the iPhone 7, was definitely something that people were worried about. They have more rugged ones as well, like this armor case here, which has, has a lot more grip to it, but you can also see the back of your phone. Or they have wallet cases, which are always nice with some of that thick leather on there and enough to hold a couple cards. I love how they put in that little ejector slot on the left hand side, making it easy to remove the cards because a lot of those pocket cases make it really hard to get your cards out once you get them in without potentially scratching the case of your phone. All the cases also have a nice lip on the front, which helps prevent that screen from hitting a table or anything and getting scratches. Nomad is by far one of my favorites and they have a whole new line of cases for the iPhone 8 as well as the iPhone 7 and 6. They all use that Horween leather that they've been known for getting from that Chicago tannery. They all have that kind of frosted white around the outside, some of them have that clear back, but they all feature that really, really nice high quality leather. This is kind of one that I started to like a lot. I wasn't sure that I would, but I really kind of like that two-tone of the black of my phone with that leather. Of course, that leather starts to look good over time as it starts to wear. It's not going to just stay the same. I think it just starts to look a lot better, just like they do with the watch bands and the other leather products that they produce. Aside from this two-tone clear and leather option, they have a few others available. 
There's a full leather one, just a simple case wrapped in that really nice Horween leather. They have a leather folio that's completely leather on the front and the back, offers a few card slots. But they also have this one here that's kind of cool, which is a clear shelf for your phone, and then the leather folio on the front. So really neat combination. And then of course they have probably one of my favorites, but this one does not work with the Mac with the wireless charger, which is a simple leather case and the two card slots in the back. Then we have spec, which I had not looked at spec cases in quite a while and I was really impressed. Maybe I just got lucky with the couple that I got, but I love this dark blue case here. It looks really nice and has a lot of grip. We also saw their Presidio Ultra, which is their kind of extreme drop protection, akin to maybe a drop box. The Presidio grip here just offers two layers of protection, only two layers. Uh, and then it has that grip and about 10 feet of drop protection. It also looks really cool. I like that dark blue. All the ports are nicely opened up. It's gonna work with a wide variety of different cables and docks down there. It offers screen protection by that little bit of gap along the front. And even the buttons are just kind of rubberized. So it makes it a nice, easy way to find the buttons. They feel good when they click. Then if you're looking for something more extreme, something for maybe on a job site, this is more what you're looking for 15 feet of drop protection it's got four layers of material going on in there to help protect your phone and it even includes a little clip to keep it on your waist i'm never really a fan of these huge grippy giant cases i think they're very big i think they're bulky and for most people i think they're unnecessary but for those people who do need them they are a lifesaver and from what i've seen this is a really nice case it feels really good and it doesn't feel as bulky as an OtterBox would be, especially an OtterBox in the clip. It definitely keeps things a little bit more on the slim side while still looking good and offering that protection. So there it is. There's like what, eight, nine different case manufacturers, over probably a hundred different cases between the different sizes and different designs, all working for the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 7, 7 Plus, and probably even the 6 and 6 Plus as well, even though the cutouts are gonna be larger than necessary around the camera port. We put a list of the cases down below in the description as well as where you can pick them up if you found one in here that you really liked. Let us know which one of these cases is your favorite. You've got one or two to choose from and be sure to check out our upcoming video for all of the cases for the iPhone 10 when it launches. As always, I appreciate it if you can go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you can keep coming back and we can keep making more videos. Until next time, it's Andrew for IDB.